Hi everyone. Uh, right now, we're, I've got Wendy with us. Say morning, Wendy. Morning, Wendy. <laughs> Somebody said they like the way you did that. Yeah. Now, um, while we're talking, you'll be able to see some of the things that I've created over the last 12 months, two years. Um, just to give you something to look at. Because Wendy and I were just talking about getting um, what do you do if you, or how to overcome, as Wendy put it, um, crafter's block. Yeah. So I know Wendy's still very poorly, <laughs> but she's uh, coping well, aren't you? Yeah. So it. what um, I'm going to ask you then, how would you suggest to people to overcome crafter's block? Um, well, for me, if I've got crafter's block, the worst thing is sitting down in front of your desk and thinking, you all, people who are crafters always want, they want to make something, they want to create something. Yes. Means that they, they get, I always feel like I get like um, withdrawals if I don't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But but sometimes that need to make something, it just, you then start thinking about, oh, it's too big. So if I get crafters blocked, what I normally do is I'll make something small. Yeah. Like I'll do some stick pins or and and go from there because if I sit down and try and think of doing a big project or bigger, you know, sort of not big, big, but do you know what I mean? Or I'm having trouble thinking of something to do. Or yeah. It just so if I go for something small, even if it's just making like making flowers or you know what I mean, just doing a small um, needle book or yeah. just something small. That's that's how I and using. Um, Pinterest or, you know what I mean, just for inspiration, just yeah. to... Pinterest is a fantastic way for inspiration. I so, love Pinterest. Yeah, I love Pinterest. If you're not familiar, I do have, um, you have one, don't you, where you put yes, your things up. Yeah. Mo a lot of people have um, Pinterest. It's free to join. You run along, you make your account, and then you can pin anything you see online. Yeah. If it's got the pin sign on it, you can just pin that. Into, make yourself folders and pin your stuff into there, categorise yeah. them. That's what I do. Um, I've often looked and said on my videos that I uh, find things on Pinterest that can start something off. Yeah. For me personally, if I get uh, crafter's block, which I do, um, I have a folder and it's things to do. Uh, that's what I named it. And then anytime I see anything that inspires me because that's the whole point isn't it you have to be yeah. inspired to in order to sit down and create that's why we make videos fiona exactly it's why we make videos inspire people yeah you know what i mean is to is to it's all you know a, a lot of people that watch youtube well i'm not saying it's not males but <clears throat> it's mostly sort of females yeah you know what i mean and it's a lot of people that have got like um illnesses and stuff like that so they can't get out sort of like they've lost many contact. people can't get out and about yeah they've lost contact with yeah you know what i mean sort of what use friends and whatever yeah so youtube is real i know there is a bad side of it but it's a brilliant brilliant place for it's a those. mass of information yeah and inspiration and you know, yeah so i would suggest to go on to pinterest.com that's all you need to go on yeah. Um, you can view lots of your local crafters, or lots when I say local, lots of the crafters you look, you know, you know, you look towards for inspiration. You can see a lot of their pages on there, their accounts, uh, and it's to have a good look round. But I, when I was saying about my me personally, um, I download everything into that file that mm. I have things to do mm. because I mean I can only fit them in like you. You fit them in where you can, yeah. and. Um, the minute I start to get crafter's block, I can feel it. You know when you think, oh, God, what yeah. can I do today? Then I will go on there and bum, bum, bum. You know, within a few minutes, I'm inspired. Everybody always has. To, I've got a, a list of things that I want to do, but having that list of things that, that you, you know, oh, I want to do a shadow box, I want to do, oh, I don't know, just, you know what I mean, anything that I've seen sort of like that I've been inspired. Not, it's not about copying somebody it's a the reason why they're doing a bit that it's putting it on public show it's to share yeah yeah so they're doing it so to inspire somebody else to think oh yeah that's what i, I love that i really want to make that do you know what i mean and yeah. putting their own spin on it and stuff like that exactly and, like, and then what happens then is then the next person will watch their video and and get inspired and they get inspired that. 
and now Jimmy makes something and do you know I mean and that's sometimes it's like if I get writer's block I'll go on uh, to YouTube as well yeah. but I do find some uh, YouTube has got a lot more I'm not saying I don't like them and I do them myself I'm not saying that but there seems to be less and less tutorials as start to finish exactly and right. um... <coughs> I I see that a lot when I go on and I, I click on somebody's and they're going if they're not showing oh look I made this they're not doing the tutorial to show you how they did it oh look I bought this mm. they're not showing you a tutorial on how to make what they've bought mm. do you see what I mean which is something I try and do myself that's why we do videos mm. tutorial videos yeah. it's it's uh, you know I find this, there isn't that many tutorials out there no. For the amount of crafters, yeah. whatever level you're at, there is not yeah. that many tutorials out there. Uh, and that's and sad, really. if it's someone that's starting out and they're sort of like a bit worried about... I know there's a lot of people that have got YouTube channels but they don't actually... Um, Make do. videos. Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. Um, I'm not saying everybody has to, but if they, you know, if they were a bit wanted to do it but were a bit worried about doing it, then just start off small. Well, that's what I was saying in one of the videos the other day. If you want to do a bit, I mean, if you make something, share it. Because mm. even if you think you know something very little about, what you share is something less somebody else knows about. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, that's a really good example because one of the boxes I made, uh, decorated... I've not got long on this window, I'm just letting you know. So I'll let oh, you know yeah. when we're up to date, yeah. All right, one of the boxes that I made... Um, I used a, it was a funny shaped box. Yeah. One of the ones I and I used a file to get round the corners and everything. And somebody left a comment saying, "Oh, I never thought to do that." Exactly. Like and, and, and that's that one thing is something that they picked up. Everything you see today is a learning experience. You take take it in as a learning experience. Yeah. And like you say, there are many crafters, even a well um, well crafted person. Let's put it mm. that way. Yeah. Um, I learn something new every day. I can watch somebody's video and think, "Damn it, why didn't I think of that?" Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, I think outside yeah. the box all the time. But yeah. every little bit, even if it's just start small. If you've never done a video, try them. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. My yeah. God, I mean, look at that. <laughs> yeah, but I don't care. I'm not looking for perfection. Exactly, and that's what we preach, don't and, we? And I know that, like, if I did a video and. It was a completely, completely just a speed, sped up one with just music and everything. I, I'm not saying that it's wrong to do that, no. but I know that, and I've had comments from my sub who's saying, oh, great video, but I missed the chip. Yeah, chip I get that up. a lot. I do. If I speed up, I get yeah. that. The thing is, sometimes just for time for me, and mine is oh, basically yeah, all down that, to time. Know, if I did a whole busy video start to finish, which I have done, where I'm not talking at all. Yeah. But it's so spinning. I mean, who wants to sit there watching paint dry or someone painting? Yeah. You know, per, coming to the end, I would, like I say, I know you agree with me, is to whatever you've never done before, give it a go. If it's successful, so be it, show people. If yeah. it's unsuccessful, so be it, show people. Because yeah. not everybody's perfect. We don't go for perfection, do we? We don't go for perfection at all. I'm just trying to... I'm not sure how long this is going to last because we're doing a voiceover here, everyone. If not that you can't see. And also, as well, if you if you want to, if you you know, sort of like want to give someone, don't give a backhanded um, com a compliment about something someone's doing. Give you can give positive, constructive, constructive criticism. criticism. Yeah, yeah. But you know, sort of do it in a, in a way that's not all you know. And you know what? I've got to say this. Please, 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 if you are a genuine watcher and you don't like something, you don't need to give it a thumbs down. Or if you do, yeah. be honest, okay. give it a thumbs down and say in the comment section yeah. why. Yeah. Nobody, that is in it, that is a learning part. Yeah. Because if you don't like it for whatever particular reason, you might think it, like using a hot glue gun, is not for under 13. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like when my granddaughters did a video and they were all under, both under 12 and somebody come, well, they did eventually write to me and say they, they it was them that gave the thumbs down and they complained that it was, they didn't think at that age they no, should I have been doing it. Okay. The thing is, on the video, when you put the thumbs down, say why. Because otherwise you're leaving people. We don't know what, you, we, if you've got a thumbs they down. They might you think you're a hater why. out there. Uh? They might think that it's a hater. 
doing that thumbs down and it not necessarily is um and a newbie to doing a video what a bashing that's the, into yeah, their yeah. feelings yeah. have a bit of thought have a bit of yeah. compassion yeah. you know i mean mine i couldn't give a sh toss whether they put all mine down at the end of the day i know what i'm doing is to help other people like you wendy we yeah. do it because yeah. we want to share our knowledge in the hope that they will then pass that on. I, I used to teach crafts in, in a craft shop, yeah. but I can't do that anymore. So this is my way of continuing to do that when I can. Exactly. And it's... Um, like I, I want to encourage people to do videos be, and yeah. purely because what knowledge I know, I pass on. What knowledge they gain, and then they do their own and gain their own knowledges. They pass on with my knowledge, and then and it's an uh, ongoing effect, isn't it? It's a ongoing thing and we need to do it because we're losing an awful lot we're losing a lot of yeah. old ways and yeah. you know what i mean and it's like um How we're not you getting get into this when we were talking about crafters block <laughs> because it's all part and parcel of it i think yeah. yeah if you haven't got a video out there to show you something yeah. How are you going to get out of your right at your crafter's yeah. block? Yeah, true. Very if you haven't true. got a book out there to read, how are you going to get out your writer's block? Yeah. Because yeah. a writer will pinch something from somebody and something from somebody else and then write a novel. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's an ongoing process. Pinch, not probably the right word. Get inspired by somebody else. No, but they, it's true what they say. We were taught pinch. that in school. If you yeah. pinch this and pinch a bit from there, you can make yourself something. Yeah. What do they call it? Uh, in the, I think is it, uh, is it uh, scrap lifting or something? What yeah. do they call it? Uh, yeah, where they just scrap take, lift. Yeah. Ideas. Yeah. Um, take take ideas and whatever. Yeah. yeah. I always say, please, 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 my videos are out there. I mean, obviously, there is copyright comes into it if you're yeah. doing something exactly and selling it. That's yeah. the copyright side of it. Yeah. Put that to one side. Yeah. I do a video. You go ahead, and Wendy, and you try it, like the flower you said you're going to yeah. try, and then yeah, you film you it. doing it. Yeah. That's not... All you're doing is lifting my idea that I've put out there, not that it was mine in the first place. But the reason why you're doing it is because you want people to have a go. You're going to put your own spin on it. Yeah. And that is the whole point of it all. Yeah. Yeah. You learn, you do, and you pass on. Yeah, and what does it matter if, like, you're, you know what, so say, like, I watched a video of, like, the flower you did, and I filmed me, and I would say, right, I've watched a video of you making it, I'm going to see whether mm -hmm. I can, do you know what I mean? And, see what, and just sort of show that, you know, I've watched something. I'm yeah. letting people know where I originally saw it from, and then... Right, I'm giving it a go and doing, you know, whatever. I'm going to have to say this, but I'm not sure how much we've got left. It, it's going down to the end because, you know, okay. it moves really slow if we're doing a voiceover. Okay. I've got to say this. You lot out there that are doing these show, uh, the, the column show and tell, and I don't know. Oh, what, holes or? No, where they should, they've done a project, they come oh, online, right. then they share it with you. Yeah. It's fantastic sharing it. And it's fantastic saying, oh, well, you get this from there and this you buy from there. That's great. But while you're at it, show us how you did it. Yeah. Show us how you use the materials and put it all together. If you give a complete package, it is so much better and better to understand. You know, I've seen videos and I'm thinking, I are daft, far from it, and I will tackle anything. But then I've thought, how the hell have they done that? And then I've had to sit there, fiddle about and work it out myself. Just tell people. The only thing I would say is that unless someone, say like you've got a mini, you made a mini book and you bought the instructions of how to make the mini book from someone's online shop, I wouldn't run through then making that, how to make it because you're taking that tutorial from this person yeah. who's selling it. So if someone's doing a show and tell and then saying, oh, you can go and buy the tutorial from this person's shop, yeah. that's a little bit different. But yeah, there is, but they, you should be able to know that, don't go over that line. Don't yeah, step yeah, over yeah. that line. Yeah. It's just in general crafting, if yeah. you've made something that nobody else has seen for a while, yeah. come along, don't just show what you've made, show them how you made it, because, yeah, it's nice to sit back and say, oh, yeah, I like that, yeah. but I don't, don't know how it was done. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's just crazy. Anyway, the pictures you're all just watching at the moment are uh, projects, and not all of them, <laughs> projects that I've done um, 
over the last couple of years i've just seen a picture here we're coming up to it now which is um a mask you know i did the mask on the, on the rod and you did one as well didn't you oh, right, yeah, yeah. um besides the one you've just done from the lace mask that yeah. was stunning that wendy i know i, I would love that that turned out right? i would like to have done that in several different colors you know done yeah. each one in a different yeah. color yeah. that'd have been fabulous yeah you have to get some more of those together. well i'm off for laces at dinner time yeah. i'm going to get some new laces Mm. Um, and I'm going to go and get some more pastel colours mm. and put them in the store. Yeah, right. So, yeah, but, um, and then I'm just coming up now to, you know, like necklace things I've done. And we're coming up to a picture now. It's of a spray painting of two palm trees with the sunset in the back. Because um, many people only think I craft. <laughs> I know, I've seen some of your pictures that you've created. It's amazing. They don't realise that I do oil painting, watercolours, spray mm -hmm. painting, um, miniatures. And it, it's good because I've had a lot of emails uh, and messages from people who just do cards and they said, oh, we've just happened to come across your... Yeah, but I was the same. Yeah, you you were used to make cards and look at you now. Yeah. Is step outside the box or think yeah. outside the box and step outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. People yeah. say, oh, I can't do this. Just have a go. How do you know what you look? I, I always revert back to Pammy, mm. my friend Pammy mm. Cadweller. I, not uh, sorry, not Pammy Cadweller. Um, the one and only Grand Pam. Mm. Mm. Always revert back to her. She never done miniatures in her life. I put out a com competition oh about four years ago, five years ago. She did it. She won it, and she's had some amazing miniatures that she's done over the years on show yeah. you know in craft fairs and whatever as well as other things but amazing and yeah. I, I just I feel so it's nothing to do with being big headed I feel so uh, it's hard to put it into words I love it that somebody else has had success yeah, yeah. just by me giving them that nudge yeah, yeah. yeah. and that's what it's all about that's what it's all about Nothing to do with being big headed or anything like that. Mm. I thrive on other people having success. Yeah. Oh, we've just gone past that picture of the gory, the heart that I did with the blood dripping down. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I one. cringe every time I see that. That's I sold that though. That's yeah. sold. Yeah. I remember that. There's some of these. <laughs> uh, there's a one coming up in the miniature kitchen I did with the wizard. Oh, yeah. I bought the box, a wooden box for it to transfer everything into that as it is on this picture coming up now. Yeah. And um, I'm waiting for Raymond to put the box. I'll do it myself, I think. <laughs> waiting for the man's waiting, you know, like, yeah, waiting for Christmas. Yeah. But, yeah, um, we need to share more. We need to, you know, do what we can. And we need to encourage these youngsters. Yeah. When I worked in that school, you know, and I started the craft club, art club i'm telling you now i i there were so many kids wanting to go in i didn't have the manpower mm. to deal with them all yeah. you need to encourage your children and grandchildren yeah. boys and girls alike yeah toby loves crafting yeah but that's certainly because he knows about it from me he was he was saying to me oh can we do a craft video can we do a craft yeah. oh. so personally what i would say now is for everyone just make a folder just for your ideas just call it your craft ideas yeah and then whenever you get you know go on to pinterest go type in anything you want shabby chic uh, vintage apothecary whatever subject media, it is whatever, your mixed media and just click and pin every picture you can see that you like do be careful and don't copy them exactly because you can fringe yeah. copyright so is that, is that the right word? Fringe? And fringe? Infringe. Infringe on copyright. Just, yeah. it, it'll give you an idea, and that's what I would say. My God, some of these pictures I haven't seen for ages. Yeah. Oh, there's another spray uh, painting one coming up. I love doing that, and when summer comes, I'm going to do them again. I'm going to teach how to do it. I've got a couple of videos up online if people want to put in spray painting um, in the title and run along and see how I do them. There's several up there on that gorgeous i sold that necklace and i want it back <laughs> you know the one with the big pink rose and then yeah. all the pearls yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is I've got another one of them roses at home. One, I'm going to copy it exact for me. I want that. And I yeah. sold it. Yeah. I keep looking at it and thinking, I love that. <laughs> I, I want that in my room. So I'm going to have to do it again. Yeah. That's cool. So there'll be two in the world and not just one. On <laughs> <laughs> oh, the miniature cabinet and that we've just looked at. Do you remember that bird cage, uh, bird house I made out of the chipboard pieces? Yeah. The pages. Yeah. It was a chipboard book and I turned it into a bird. That was just past that one. Uh, the fairy house with lights. Oh yeah, I love those. Yeah. But it's all gone. I don't have any, a lot of these now. <laughs> oh, and these are coming up with my daughter, granddaughter with the hair pieces in. Oh yeah, yeah. See, this, if for a newbie, if you've not seen a lot of the tutorials, all of these, the tutorials are on the... Yeah. Website. And, and a lot of the ones that you do are not ones, you do longer ones, but there's also so many ones that are like short, quick, you know what I mean? Just something that you yeah. can do to get yourself, in, get your mojo or crafting block going. Just yeah. yeah. I don't spend a lot of time on them if I can help it. Obviously, a painting project is going to take a little yeah. bit of time, and I do speed up sections of them. And if yeah. I'm sewing a flower, I'll speed up the sewing bit. Yeah. I do try and make it because, yes, people want to see everything. They want to hear everything we say. But then you've got people who only want to watch short, quick, sharp, yeah. get it done. Yeah, well, that's what fast forward for anyway, the button. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's so. true. That's true. Yeah. And like I say, and for those people who really don't want, oh, you know, want to give the thumbs down for the nasty reason, just don't bloody watch yeah, I know. You know, you you, you can't never, sue ever, everybody. Ever given anybody a thumbs down. No, I haven't. Never given anybody a thumbs down. Um, I just find I hate that thumbs down button. It's not very... Right, it's going to go off any minute now. All right. Let's just leave it at that. And right. if you've got any comments, put them on this video. And yeah. uh, we'll answer all your questions next time. Yeah. Okay? All right. Say bye-bye, Wendy. Bye-bye, Wendy. Bye-bye, Wendy. See you soon. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you all soon.